Exactly today in a week's time, I'm gonna be back home. And in Hannah Montana's words, life's what you make it. Yo, I found my mom's spoon and I'm so chuffed because exactly today in a week's time, I'm gonna be back home and I need to return my mother's spoon, so. <laughs> hey, beautiful people, welcome back to my channel. It is I, Dimple Bagley, and today I bring forth a requested video, which I'm really happy about because I'm like, I really wish I had this kind of video when I moved in and out, you know? Like, I've seen some rough days. Like, it's it's been amazing. It's so much fun and the memories have been... Mwah top tier but i've definitely seen some dark days and if you're not new around here you've seen some of those dark days or at least have heard about them if you are new here let me give you a little bit of context so i haven't even fully moved to the uk completely i am half here and half in south africa which is my home my husband and i live between the two countries and we'll spend six months here six months there four months here four months there they're just like chunks and the main reason for that is that our visas are a little bit complex and not that easy to juggle if you want even for the details on that welcome to binge my content that's a fun time i love that you'll hopefully love that everybody wins so move to a new country the very first thing you need to do is get out of the house it can be so easy to isolate yourself and just spend time mulling over the fact that you're not back at home that you're new to a space that you don't really know anyone there's so many different excuses you can come up with to just stay by yourself not only is it key for your insides your brain all the things for you to get out but also it creates constant opportunities for you to make friends for you to build a community I think one of the best mindsets I've chosen to take on is telling myself that I've never fully explored a city or town. Whether I arrived yes, ooh, B, ooh, okay, 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 B. Anyway, whether I arrived yesterday or was born and raised in that town, there are always new places to visit, things to see, people to meet. So get out of the house. Something that really helped me in terms of making friends was taking a step back and figuring out who are the kinds of friends that I want to make. And from that space, you're able to figure out, okay, what kind of contexts are those kinds of people likely to be in? For example, church. If you want to make friends that are believers, a great place to start is to find a local church. And if you want to go even further, make deeper connections, joining a life group. Joining a life group has changed my life here in the UK. Like I've been in and out for coming up on two years, three years now. And having joined a life group earlier this year, Honestly, it's been so good. And I wish that was an area I had explored from the start because meeting like-minded people has been a game changer. So what is that thing for you? Do you like sports? Something I did last year was play club hockey. That was so much fun, just meeting other sports people who are also there for like the social part of it. And then outside of like physical opportunities, there are a whole lot of spaces online that you can actually meet people. For example, there's an app called GoFriendly. That's been really cool. I think I discovered this last week. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to leave. Why am I only just finding this now? But I know that when I come back, that's it's definitely a space I'm wanting to tap into. And the other one, funny enough, Facebook groups. There are such specific Facebook groups out there. There are ones that are like South Africans who have just moved to the UK and it's like, that's literally me, cool. So whatever it is, whatever your interests are, there are so many very specific groups that you can join where you can meet up with people and find a like-minded community. Okay, a really important thing you can practice is to do the things that make you feel like you. There's so many things back at home that I loved to do on a regular basis that I just, that I didn't realize I could just replicate and adapt to this new space that I was in. Things like roller skating, that's something I love to do in Pretoria. It's not as accessible here in Nottingham, but if you really want something, you will make a way to do it or to make it happen so for me that would have been finding local parks there are also some brilliant platforms like Facebook marketplace where I could get a second-hand pair of skates to go and do the thing that I know and love also get an opportunity to meet people so what are the things that make you feel like you is it painting is it spending time in nature is it taking long baths is it reading a book going on solo dates and I think that I love to do back at home that I do my absolute best to do here in the UK as well is cafe hopping I love a cute cafe especially if it's independent I'm like that excited me no matter where i am in the world cafe hopping is my thing and now i know that that's one of my go-to activities no matter what i'll probably have a good time if that particular cafe doesn't work i can always go to the one next door like it's just a w through and through so find your things what are your things that you love doing back at home that make you feel like you that you can replicate in this new space or even just explore what does it look like here to do that same activity this is one of my favorite ones document the journey there is something so special about documenting your journey while you're abroad 
abroad, whether it's journaling, taking pictures, having a video diary, like there's so many different ways that you can document your journey that make your activities exciting or make you want to have a great day so you can journal about it later or taking photos of random things that you can look back on later and be like, oh, that was actually a really good time. There's so many times that I've just been so appreciative that I started this channel as soon as we got the approval that we we're going to be coming to the UK. I'm like being able to look at that bank of memories has been so special and has made me see just how much I've progressed and how much fun I've had and just made me appreciate the entire journey whether I was going through ups or downs. Another example actually in terms of taking pictures I have a friend who moved to Canada a couple of years ago and what she did is she started a second Instagram where she just did photo dumps. It was just like this is genuinely just for me and my I don't know 30 closest friends like we're going to follow each other and I'm going to post whatever I want whenever I want. It's really just a memory bank for me. That's something you 100% can do. Just like here's my space where I can share my experience of life whether it's for you or your close friends, your family, whatever the case is. Build a memory bank. Document the journey. Another thing that's on the same playing field is to celebrate the milestones. It takes so much to move to a new country and for you to celebrate the small things is such a meaningful thing to do. It's such a mind shift as well because things like okay I've been in this country for a month. Yes please. I've done it. I've survived. I'm still here. I'm still going. Going, still pushing. Let me get myself some ice cream because we're celebrating everything. <laughs> I think go right across the board. Maybe it's you've made three friends in the past month. I remember that was something that was big for me. I was like, I have made three friends and I'm so proud of myself. Let's go do something. <laughs> Maybe you've passed an important exam or you've finally moved into a new place and you're settled now. Everything is in its place and acknowledging how hard you've worked and now you get to just chill and live and be. Celebrate that. It's so much fun to see how far you've come and to be able to reflect on the journey to get to that place. One of you asked me how do I manage like being away from family and like missing them and friends and just the familiarity of being at home and I think a solid summary of that is remember your why and you can break that up into like past present and future so past like where was I at why did I so desperately want to move to this country it's so important to look back what is it that fueled me to take this leap and then looking into the present how can I apply myself every single day to reach the goal of why I am here how can I contribute to that person I want to be or how can I contribute to that goal and then looking at the future, what are the greater goals that I'm trying to achieve? Is it dual citizenship? Is it a better opportunity for my children one day? Is it networking? Sometimes it's something as simple as just growth. For example, if you know you're going back home, having been abroad for a year, two years, however long it is, it adds so much value to your personhood, to what you have to contribute to the world in your workplace, in your friendships, in your family. Going overseas and being in a new country, you are adding to your life and to those around you. My very last point is the most important one, I feel like, <laughs> and that is visit home please <laughs> something i stand by is to have your next flight booked if it's not as simple as that have a time frame you know like christmas i'm gonna be home i haven't booked my ticket yet but that's the goal is to be able to go home for christmas having that set up helps so much because it just gives you something to look forward to you're able to go from dreary long days to right i've got two months I'm gonna make the absolute best out of it and then i know at the two month mark i'm gonna go home i'm gonna recharge spend time with people that i know and love be comfortable for a little bit and then jump back into this commitment that i've made another way to make it sting that much less between that time of being abroad and going back home is to stay connected. A rule I have with a handful of my friends is just call. <laughs> a lot of my friends and I have realized that trying to find a common time that works for both their schedule and mine is a mission. And I've gone to connect with my friends again way more by just calling than I have trying to find a time that works for us both. It adds so much to your day, it adds so much to your insides, your energy levels, everything. So a rule of thumb that you can have with your family and friends is just call. If you're available, you're available. If you're not, it's okay. We'll call back or I'll try again tomorrow or I'll try again next week. But just call. Okay, here's some affirmations that will help in those little bits of times where you're not having a good time. One, your relationships are going to be okay. Both the old ones and the new ones, they're going to be just fun. Two, you are going to figure it out. The transportation system, your grocery budget, new friendships, accommodation, you are going to figure it out. Last but not least, it's going to be worth it. I promise it's going to be worth it. Getting that degree, the growth, the independence, the networking, you name it, it's going to be worth it. Push through, do your absolute best, and just enjoy it. There's so much to look forward to. And in Hannah Montana's words, life's what you make it. So let's make it right. Is that what she says? I don't even know. <laughs> But genuinely, like, you're presented with so many opportunities by being abroad. Do your best to make it an experience of a lifetime. And that is me. 
Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. That helps my channel. If you have just moved abroad or are planning to or are thinking about it, please let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear. Or if you have moved overseas, let me know what your experience has been. Are there any things that you've done and applied in your life to make it fun for yourself? What are things you're struggling with and how are you coping? For me, one of my struggles is the winter here. I'm like, British winter is no joke. <laughs> I don't know how people do it here. So let me know what your experiences are. Beyond that, if I don't see in the comments, I'll see you later in the week in my vlog. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> Why? Why do the bees love me? <laughs>